Hi, I'm Phil Yates, and I'm interviewing today Harold Coyle, the author of Team Yankee, the novel, and also the inspiration for Team Yankee, the game. The book was inspired by two works that uh, I had read as a young officer, the first being General Sir John Hackett's book, World War III, The Untold Story. And the part Parts of that novel, the parts of that novel I liked, enjoyed the most, were the small vignettes that General Sir John Hackett wrote about uh, a German Panzer Company commander, a uh, British staff officer whose headquarters is attacked, uh, a U.S. cavalry officer. Uh, and I wanted to read more, but General Sir John got into the more higher echelon things. The other book was written by Charles McDonald, who was an infantry company commander in World War II with the 2nd Infantry Division. And his book, uh, Company Commander, was uh, very interesting because it took the uh, progression of a young officer. At the time he took over his company, he was 22 years old. And it took him from when he first took command of his company which was a veteran company at that time, all the way through to the end of the war. And Team Yankee is nothing more than amalgamation of the two. It is the story of a company commander going through General Sir John Hackett's World War III scenario. Now, you were a um, company commander, uh, a tank company commander in the late 70s, I gather. I commanded Company A, 3rd Battalion, 68th Armor, that was stationed in Mannheim, Germany, from uh, 1978 to 1979 for a period of about 18 months, which at that time was the standard company command tour. And so your experiences as a company commander went into the writing of the book? Most definitely. Appreciation of the terrain, the way a unit would be deployed, I mean, it's... It's not an exact uh, layout of what my company battle position would have looked like, but anybody who had been on that terrain and Red Team Yankee would have recognized it. And um, do you think you would have done as well as Bannon did? Where my company was, yes, because my company was in uh, the uh, part of uh, Germany that was known as the uh, Hoa Realm. And it was not one of the primary avenues of approach. If anybody came down through the whole room, it would just be for a holding action, not for a major breakthrough. The major thrust would have been conducted to my left through the Folda Gap or to my right through the uh, Schwankford Gap. When I say mine, I'm talking about my brigade uh, and my division. And um, so your hero in the book is Captain Sean Bannon, and um, you uh, have him fighting through a series of battles to the ultimate in the novel, Victorious End of the War. Um, do you identify with um, Bannon? And uh, people have said things like, oh, you know, Bannon's a super soldier. Do you think that there were soldiers around at the time who could have performed as well as Bannon? It is possible, somebody has to survive the war. Uh, it is possible for a company commander to have his ups and his downs, good, uh, good battles, bad battles, uh, and a great dollop of luck. There was a, a questionnaire that was passed around to uh, a bunch of senior commanders uh, a couple decades back. And the senior commanders, general officers, were asked, what are the traits that contribute to a successful commander? And the only single trait that was found on all of these questionnaires was luck. To be a successful commander, you've got to have a lot of luck. It's like always rolling that high die six. So talking about modern wargaming, you were one of the inspirations for Team Yankee here and uh, have been involved with the development of it. We've got some excerpts from your novel in there and some feedback from yourself uh, while we we're writing it. How did you find the process and have you played any games? I've played the games. Uh, I've had to use stand-in vehicles, ersatz, uh, 
because I haven't gotten any flame, Battlefront miniatures yet. Hint, hint, nod, nod. <laughs> oh, you get them soon. I gather they're on their way. So <laughs> well, a big I, care package is being assembled specifically for you. But uh, I, I caution people who are going to be too critical of it. This is, in fact, a game. It's not an exact simulation, but it comes as close to the way things would play out as you can get them in a game. And it plays out very well. I ran one uh, scenario using the uh, Team Yankee rules to where uh, my opponent had four M1 tanks and I had 10 Soviet tanks. And I used the typical Soviet technique to where a three tank platoon would fire at the same target. And the Sobs advanced against the uh, defending tanks and they were wiped out. Ugly, very ugly. Then I ran a scenario, the uh, Bannon scenario, to where his tanky breaks down, and Bannon actually does win. So don't look at that scenario and say, oh my god, you've got to be kidding. If the, uh, if the Bannon player plays it right and uh, knows when to yield and when to stand and fight, he can give a good accounting of himself. So the novel was right. Yes. <laughs>